so as expected, all the food in my refrigerator is basically expired. Usually I'd make breakfast at home, but I'm kind of running late right now. It's Wednesday, December 20th, 1124 AM. Of course, yes, I'm into the new condo. I had my moving process. We'll talk about that soon, but there's tons of things I need to get done because I just came back from my trip from Jamaica. So I need to just get everything organized. I need to pick up my car. There's tons of stuff that I just need to do in order to get my life back on track. And it's, it's just been a crazy week. We have a lot to talk about, but first thing up on the agenda, I have to pick up my car because it's been sitting at the shop, they're putting on winter tires and stuff. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Just pull up the test life but there's no one there they did drop off the car though which is great so this is the car they did a little fix into it they had to fix a lot of things like they had to redo the wrap and everything because if you guys watch my instagram you know that i did a video with shell and i had to put the car through a car wash i actually messed up the wrap so Owning cars, it gets expensive because everything to fix this, to put on the winter tires and all that, it was like $4,000. So we did get new winter tires, as you can see. You have to get winter tires in the winter here in Toronto because it gets crazy. There was a chip right here and it's gone, thankfully. They fixed up the wrap, which is nice. There was just basically a bunch of swirl marks all over the car, but everything looks to be perfectly fine now, which is amazing. And yeah, as always, I just want to say a huge thanks to Test Life here in Vaughan. If you guys ever need your cars wrapped or you need to get jobs done on it, like customization, stuff like that, these are the guys to do it. They did it really quick. I left for Jamaica for like four days, came back. The car is already re-wrapped, coated, PPF and all of that. So amazing job from them. But yeah, right now, I think I'm just going to get some food and basically just, we, we just have a lot of things to talk about. So yeah first thing first though i think i just need to get some I, I just need to stop telling you guys what i'm gonna do and just go ahead and do it but let's go Tires, it's swinging. Holy, sword swing. Just made it back all the way to Toronto. Finally, that drive was good. It's always just amazing coming back to the whip, like not driving the car for so long and then coming back to drive it is just always a fun experience. The car people know what I mean. This is like my baby, you know what I'm saying? This right here, the Bimski. But yeah, time to get some food. I, I feel like I've been saying I'm about to get food since this vlog has started and I still haven't gotten food. Delayed bag that 
was supposed to ship to my address. It was supposed to be on my way to my address, and this has just been a headache. Now it's saying that someone requested to change my address, and my bag is going to a total different address, which is crazy. Okay, I have it, I have it, I have it. All right, please try to figure this out as soon as possible because someone changed my address and the bag is going to someone's address. Bro, this just has been the craziest week. It's telling me that it's going to Bathurst Street North, Toronto. If I try to update the delivery information, it says deli this you can't do that because the bag is already out for delivery. Bro, I'm telling you, this is the craziest week I have to be dealing I'm literally going through the craziest shit ever bro I don't get it <laughs> what did I do to deserve all this bad luck bro it's like a week of bad luck consecutive things that not in my control and things that yes for example it was my fault that I left my SSD on the plane but this whole bag situation is beyond me <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, probably. All right, bye. Okay, so I know this might be random, but I'm at BMW Toronto right now because I brought my car in for service once and they scratched my rim. So I'm just coming back in to see when I could schedule my car for them to fix the rim. It's just, again, a roller coaster is bad luck, but it's all good though. Can we do it for this week, the week of the 8th, when everyone's back on shift? Okay, so the 8th or... We... Are, you're going to leave it with me, right? Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Got you. All right. Nice Thanks. You. Take care. For sure. Bye. Canada just called that um, my baggage is finally being delivered, so I'm gonna go downstairs to see if they have it. On the elevator, come on. Now I feel like I have to explain the story about this Louis Vuitton duffel bag. Marble or some shit. God damn. Whew. All right, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I've been trying to set up this light arch arc for the past 30 40 minutes. I don't know what this is right now, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna leave it until tomorrow because I have a meeting that I have to hop into right now and I'll just pick up on everything that I need to figure out. But so far, the place is looking good. It's been organized, um, but yeah, I just have to pick up on everything tomorrow. Like, are you maybe like first half will be something like this? Because 
I don't know whether or not I should write as I call it a natural walk today just because I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of weird coming to the gym without my trainer, but she's on vacation, so it's all good. Still gonna get this work in. But yeah, I just feel lost right now because I haven't been in the gym for like a week myself. But yeah. The pain follow me, deal with trauma privately. I don't want to be a burden, I handle things defiantly. Spent a decade searching for a higher power, God in me. Figured out that faith is not up there, that it's inside of me. Act with execution, what's a plan with zero action? Faced with bad habits, knowing it's a magnet to my imbalance. I'm somewhere between confidence and arrogance. The middle ground is treacherous, I work on getting out of it. Pops is looking down, I feel him every time the sun shines. Back to being unsigned, I only got my bloodline. With uh, I gotta leave this shirt, bro. I'm out here dying. <sighs> All right, so just got back from the gym. Protein shake on deck every single time, you already know. It's the best. So today I had a pretty good workout, I'm not gonna lie. I was in the gym for one hour right here. Burned around 575 calories, which is pretty good. I didn't have my trainer today, so it was really hard like navigating through stuff. I just realized that I depend too much on my trainer. Like I was literally just following everything that she says, but when I was there, I had to figure stuff out on my own, research how to do proper techniques, motivate myself, because honestly, if I didn't have a personal trainer, Half of the time I wouldn't turn up to the gym. Half of the time I would just finish sets at seven or eight instead of pushing myself through to 10. So hats off to everybody who goes to the gym by yourself and push yourself to the limits because I had to do that today and it was very mentally stressing, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know, when you have somebody working out with, to me, just way more, you know, motivating, way more energizing. You know, having somebody tell you to push one more, two more, let's go, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody that goes to the gym by yourself. Y'all the real ones. Also, I did figure out the lamp. If you guys can see it back there, that thing. I don't know how I feel about the placement right now, but I think it looks pretty cool. I'm definitely going to add a hue bulb to it because there's no way I'm gonna walk around there every single time to turn it off when I want to turn it off when I could just use Google to turn off the lamp. So I'm definitely gonna order a hue bulb so I could just use my voice and turn the lamp off because it's 2023. We need smart home automation everywhere. I think my groceries just got delivered. I don't know about you guys, but me, I'm always gonna order groceries. First time I moved out, I loved grocery shopping, but to me right now, grocery shopping just gets annoying and draining so i just just always try to order groceries let me know if i'm the only one down below in the comments because they were super simple you save time not money but you save time and guess what time is money okay, when i go to the grocery store i don't buy anything fancy i don't even buy snacks they're just simple like apple juice butter oil bacon haram by the way pancakes of course you need a syrup aunt jemima more oil eggs i already know i love the bread lettuce yellow peppers green peppers and of course you need tomato Ooh. this is the only thing i hate about grocery shopping why do you think i need one tomato bro who the hell buys one tomato i thought i would get like a, a vine of tomato like four tomatoes Anyways, this is what the fridge is looking like right now and after. Yes, sir. Good grocery shopping. By the way, these are some of the countries I've visited. I tried to collect all of them right here. I'm missing a few because I started to do it late, but it'll keep growing. This duffel bag. 
please tell me everything is in here. My shoes. My other pair of shoes. My belt. Clothes. Pants. Bro. Basically, everything in this bag is what I needed for my trip. And this bag is basically what causes the series of bad luck that started just when I decided to take a spontaneous trip to Jamaica. This is what happened. I'm not gonna lie guys, I woke up late. I took an extra nap. And thankfully, he said my flight was delayed, so hopefully I don't miss this flight, bro, because I'll be because, like pissed. Yes, sir. Made it to the airport alive and well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? About to hit this flight. About to take a nap, bro, because I need some. I need that sleep. You know what I'm saying? I need that sleep. Man, how do I miss the airport? Now, when I got to the airport, the lady said I had to check in my love, my duffel bag, right? Now, remember, I haven't traveled a lot recently. This year is the first year that I've traveled. Since 2016, I've been traveling. I traveled like over 10 times this year alone in 2023, and I haven't traveled since 2016. So there's a lot of things that I didn't really know, and this is the first time I was trying to go through the airport without checking in any bags because it's such a spontaneous trip. I wasn't carrying a huge bag or anything. Just my LV duffel bag, my little carry-on suitcase, and a backpack. When I got there, they're saying that, hey, you have to check in some stuff. So I had to take some stuff out my carry-on, put it in the duffel bag, just to make some space because now I have to check in something. So checked in the duffel bag, all right? Hopped on the plane and it was chill. Here's a breakfast menu for you. My name's Vanessa Gade and you can just let me know, okay? Okay, thanks. So now I'm on the plane, super excited, eating good food, having fun, getting work done on my laptop and everything. And I was like, you know what? Let me just check to see if my bag is with me. You know what I'm saying? So I took out my iPhone, of course, all my bags, I put an air tag in it. So I checked and find my, it's saying that my bag is still at Toronto Pearson International Airport. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, maybe the internet isn't connected yet. Give it some time, you know, I let it breeze. Is it your like top five, top 10? Nah. Well, they can of course be my top. <laughs> <laughs> So now I landed in Jamaica, all right? Landed in Jamaica, waiting. I'm waiting, 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 waiting. First, somebody took me out to the interrogation room. Took me out the line, brought me to the interrogation room. I can't even speak, but I was in there for like 40 minutes. They searched up all my bags. They were like, oh, your name is, it, it, it caught up with some other names, boom, boom. We're just doing our checks and we did all the necessary checks and it seems as if you're fine you're good to go. But just know that in the future, we won't guarantee that we won't stop you again. I'm like, what? Anyways, walked back out to the baggage area, waited for another 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I was like, my bag's not here, all right? My bag's not here. Walked up to the counter. I was like, hey, my bag is missing. Can you guys figure out what's going on? Oh, the computer is not working. The computer's not working. They can't tell if my bag is delayed or not. I was like, all right, I'll find my iPhone, I have an air tag on the bag. It says it's missing. They're like, okay, we'll take your word for it. This is in Jamaica, by the way. We'll take your word for it. We'll file a case and we'll have your bag shipped down by tomorrow. Keep in mind, I'm going to an event on the, the following day, the Saturday. So I'm like, I need this bag because all my clothes are in my duffel bag. All right. They said the bag would be shipped down. I was like, no problem. I dipped. They they ever, I want to me. Like they ever hold me on something. You too hot, man. Hot. No, Black sir. Jobs. I want to me do so. They hold me in the interrogation hey. room. I said, oh, because out of somebody must have had this and near one. They want to make sure it's a minute and a me and this and that. I about them work up on themselves. No, they don't find nothing. They just look upon you and feel, say, something. Sitting wrong. And then when they 
So I, so I greeted my mom. We're having fun. I got KFC. Every time I go to Jamaica, the first thing I get is KFC. Having the time of my life. You know what I'm saying? Enjoyed the entire day. We got more food. Saw my dad. Having fun. Saw my little sister. We're just. It's just amazing. I'm just so happy. I'm in my zone. I'm in my home. And then finally, the morning I woke up to try to edit my video, my moving vlog video, guess what? I lost my SSD. My SSD was left on the plane and now everything is just crumbling. Also on a side note, I was editing on the plane. So I had my laptop and everything. I was editing on the plane. So I had another SSD like this. SSD like this, bro. I had that, right? Editing on the plane and I left it in the plane, bro with all my content. So the video that I'm supposed to post on Sunday is on that SSD. So right now I have to like go to the airport to figure out if they have it and lost their phone or something. Yo, I'm so Hi everybody, just pull up to the airport, bro. Let's see if we could get this SSD back. I know. I had everything on that hard drive. Like the moving vlogs, everything. Now they said no, they didn't hand over anything, so I, I didn't know what to do right now, bruh. Shit's crazy, bro. Now my bag was delayed. So I have no drip. Still waiting for my duffel bag, which is still in Toronto, bro. And I'm going out tomorrow, and I need my duffel bag, and I, I don't have it. So that's two things that's bad right now. No SSD, no luggage. I'm just out here in the Christmas market. It's actually crazy. There's so many people here. For what reason? I don't know. I'm like low-key tall and everyone here is kind of weird. Like I feel like everyone just looking at me. But I'm trying to get some coffee right now. I actually live in this neighborhood, so it's actually the second time I'm coming here and I live in this neighborhood, which is crazy. And people travel all around the world to get here. They just have like a bunch of stores, food. Um, yeah, I think that's about it to be honest. But I'm just trying to get some coffee to finish my story because it gets crazier. Bro, there's no way they have a whole Dior Christmas tree. They have a designer Christmas tree, bro. I'm not even kidding. I'm trying to show it, but it's not showing. Let me, let me go right here. Boom. I think you can see it. But yeah, I'm just photo bombing everybody right now, which is crazy. But I was trying to get, um, say hi to the vlog. Yeah. But yeah, I was trying to get coffee at this spot called Balzac's, but bro, what the f no, there's no one joining this line, bro. I don't know what they thought, but there's no way I'm staying in this line just to get some coffee. So I think I'm just gonna dip because there's just too many people here and everybody's looking at me because I'm vlogging, but I don't care because we have to get the content, you know? Nobody here is paying my bills but me. So are you gonna let some random people who are never gonna see you again stop your grind you can't bro you just have to be confident step outside with the camera but yeah this line is ridiculous so i might have to end up with another coffee choice something basic i don't know hall um latte ah uh, yes so yeah i got starbucks but don't judge me you know what I'm saying? There's no other choice because Balzac's was finished. Balzac's was full. I am not like a, a Starbucks or whatever you call it, but yeah, I got Starbucks. My 
mic check. It's absolutely freezing out here, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going through, <laughs> might sound silly, but one of the toughest times of my life right now because I'm the type of person who like, whenever I have my tasks set out, I like to complete them without like, you know, moving on to the next. This is how I am. I finish stuff, then I move on to the next. It's hard for me to leave something I'm doing to start a whole new project. If I'm working on something, I'll work on it for an entire week until it's done. That's just, that's how I work. So it was really hard for me, like losing my SSD, losing all the content that I film. I'm talking about filling in my moving process, right? I spent so many hours on that video because everybody wanted to see the moving vlog. When are you moving out? Boom, boom, show us the new condo. I'm talking about tons of B-roll, cinematography, the, the storytelling, the, you know what I'm saying? Things that you can't do again because currently someone else is living in the apartment. And then again, if I even just reshot the video, it won't be the same excitement. It won't be the same emotions. And that's just one thing I was hung up on while I was in Jamaica on my trip. I was like, bro, like, I'm just down. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I tried to ignore it, but the fact that all my hard work and everything that I've done is not only the moving vlog that was on that SSD, but there's countless amount of videos on the SSD, like short form content, the Pixel 8 unboxing, M1, M3 MacBook, all that stuff, unboxings for short form content that was on that SSD has been removed. There's tons more stuff like video effects. The list goes on and on. Yes, Siobhan, why didn't you back it up? As I said before, I don't travel that often. And I'm the type of person like I would say, Bro, how do you even lose a SSD? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you lose a SSD? That's something I never ever thought would ever happen to me, and it did. These niggas dismissing the hard work, they calling it the talent And I find that disrespectful cause I put on the mileage Up for the shit but I'm down for the challenge Step off the scene just to find me a balance uh. These niggas don't want it to get it cause when it got hard them niggas I quit it I put so much hustle dog. It's all about that muscle dog. yeah Trying to make it out the struggle dog. yeah Ay, Watch out this shit bubble dog. yeah Look, shit I chase here to make some real shit Something hey Guys, whole new day just got back from the gym not too long ago. Had a pretty good workout, I'm not gonna lie. Still missing my trainer, but it was a solid workout. I was there for like an hour and I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better every single day. And I'm just currently in a phase right now where I'm not really talking to anybody. It's not like I cut all my friends off, but since I lost my SSD, it might sound crazy to you guys, but I don't know if you guys understand the length of like work that's on the SSD. Like just think about setting up camera angles, doing everything all by myself, just gone. You know what I mean? So everybody be asking like, what's wrong? I, I just can't like the mood that I'm in right now. I feel like I just need space to myself and it's best to me just avoid people right now. Just work on myself, go to the gym, focus on myself and to get myself back on track. Um, what am I even talking about, bro? It's like, I feel like my, the mental space I'm in right now, I can't even have conversations with people because they're going to like say, like, I don't care about what they're saying because I just don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to get back on track for me. I don't even know if it makes sense, but sometimes, basically what I'm trying to say, sometimes I feel like you need to distance yourself from people to try find yourself again. Before, you know, you don't want to give off that negative vibe and negative energy onto people who don't deserve it. You know what I mean? So I hone that into myself until I build myself back up again, if that makes sense. And just right now with everything being gone and missing, it feels like I just have to create something out of nothing, basically. Like create this content out of thin air that because everyone has been asking for it, you know, the moving process, the move out vlog. But at the end of the day, I feel like what really makes you a strong person and shows your true ability is if you could just create something out of nothing, you know? Like, 
not everything will go your way, but it's the way that you create a new path for yourself really shows how strong you are and how determined and dedicated you are to finish that said task. And that's basically what I'm going to do today because I still have to show you guys how the moving process was, how it went. And thankfully, I had some stuff on my phone. So let's talk about it. So it all started from my condo search and this was in my birthday month too. So I wanted to move out before the end of the month because that, that was on the lease. I had to move out before the end of the month regardless. But I wanted to move out because it's almost like a birthday gift, you know what I'm saying? Moving into a new spot, it's your birthday month, everything's fresh, everything's clean, having fun. So I picked out a few condos, but I don't know, Toronto, the condos in Toronto, they're just not giving what they're supposed to give. <laughs> they're not giving what they're supposed to give, man. Everything's kind of small. I already loved my neighborhood, so I was like, you know what, to make this move easy, to still have that beautiful CN Tower skyline view and everything, I think I'm gonna stay in the same building. So I waited, I waited, I waited, something popped up within the same unit, and I was like, yes, this is it. Locked in the deal, everything got approved right away, and I was like, we're good to go. All right, so I found the unit, birthday was coming up. So every year, I always keep a birthday party with all my close friends and family. It's just always amazing having everyone come together, seeing all your friends at the same time. You know how hard it is in 2023 to get all your friends in the same spot at the same time? It's just a blessing to be able to do that. So every year we look forward to it. And this year I tried to book the party room for my building, but it turns out that the party room was already booked two months in advance, which is crazy. So now I had no option. I tried to find spots to rent everywhere was like booked out i think it was like a, a holiday like some diwali or something on that day so everywhere was booked out so i had no option but to host the party in my brand new empty apartment which actually turned out pretty lit Happy birthday to you. Bum, 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 what I do No, 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 you Can't do What I do Whoa, 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 whoa Race that go I need a bag and I need it to go I hit a spot and I'm ready to go I've been on go so I'm always on go Go, go, go Been it before and I act like I know Been it before and I know I had goals Straight up Part of my weight, my gain up I don't need chains, I'm chainless Long as my kids stay kicked up Long as my mom stay prayed up I'm be here forever I'm be here forever I'm be But yeah, the birthday party went well Had it in the building There was no mess like that Everybody, you know, they have brain cells All my friends have brain cells So the condo is still in pristine condition The aftermath was crazy though Bottles on bottles the confetti on the floor, but the cleaners came in, they did their thing, and of course I gave them like cupcakes and a tip and all that. But it wasn't like a crazy mess, it was just the confetti on the floor from when I popped the confetti. The birthday party, lit. Got that out of the way, got the condo cleaned, and now it was time for me to actually move in. <laughs> process was pretty simple I thought I could do it by myself the first day I was trying to move everything by myself didn't work decided to call up some movers calling the movers and they came in and as you can see I was literally right here filming myself because I was recording a YouTube video so you guys can see I'm not lying I was recording YouTube videos getting all the good angles and all that through the window all of that footage gone so thankfully I had security footage and just images and stuff from my camera roll that could help me tell this story so the movers came in did their thing we moved every single thing super easy down to the apartment so that was that move out process easy move it in easy unpacking nightmare so day three of figuring out this whole mess like as you guys can probably tell the entire place is just a mess I'm starting out like just throwing away stuff that I don't need. Like I even think I'm gonna create this website called Chevron Archives where I'll just post up stuff that I don't need, like old tech, 
clothes, shoes, there's just so much stuff that I have that I didn't know I had in the first place. Like, where the hell did, where did all this come from? Like, all these tech, these boxes. Like, bro, I started just even throwing away shoe box. All the Nike boxes and everything like that, I'm just gonna throw away. This is one of the main problems too, the kitchen. It needs to be sorted out. I'm, I'm literally, every single morning, I'm just buying breakfast. Every day I'm ordering food. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to get my life together. So, I'm gonna dedicate some time to figure this shit out and organize the crib. That's, that's the whole priority. That's the main thing that I need to do right now. So after all that, this is where we at now. I'm still waiting on things from actually Rove Concepts. We're gonna get me right. So I'm waiting on a sofa. I have to get like nightstand, dresser units, a new desk. Like there's tons of things that's gonna happen within the space, furniture wise. So make sure you guys stick around if you're new, subscribe because you don't wanna miss the full furnish condo tour. It's gonna be crazy. In terms of the unit, it's a two plus two. So two bed, two bath. And let me show you basically what's going on right now. So this is the living room, bathroom. <laughs> Little walk-in closet, you know what I'm saying? Not too crazy. Hallway. That word actually sounds weird now. I think I've said it like 20 times. Hallway, 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 hallway. But yeah, that's the hallway. This is it. It's kind of long. Like you, you come all the way around here from the entryway, then boom, you're in the hallway right here. We got the washer and dryer. And off to the side, we got the guest um, bathroom. I'll show you. Come. Guest bathroom. It's kind of echoey because it's empty. This is cool. It's like a stand-up shower in here. Um, the box is kind of blocking it, but you get the idea. Stand-up shower, toilet, basin, sink. Yeah. I think that's basically it. Yeah. Um. This. We don't want to talk about this. Finally, the bedroom. Ugh. I don't know what the hell that was. Ugh. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick little tour. One thing I didn't show you though is the balcony, which is absolutely crazy. It's freezing outside by the way, but I have to show you guys. This is the balcony. I'm not sure if you could hear me, but it's insane how big this balcony is. Like Like, you can actually run laps out here. It's mad. From all the way down there, from here, and all the way down there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all this space, but the view is also insane. It's just a blessing. And yeah, the entire skyline view over here. Wow, it's crazy. So, moral of the story, guys. Don't make a L break you, make that L make you. That makes sense. Um, yeah. Catch you in the next, next video. Oh yeah, another important thing I learned is that, learn to move on, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's not in your control, move on. There's nothing you can do about it, accept it, and move on, all right? Wise words from Chevy.